Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my December skincare review which is on the brand Axis Y. I have so much to tell you all in this video series. Quick housekeeping, if you're new to this channel, we have timestamps and links in the description box below. If you are looking for a review only on a specific product, feel free to find that timestamp. There are actually eight products in this video and we're gonna have a part two. We're gonna have a part two for Axis Y. Because the strangest thing happened, I realized that I have this perfect division between the six plus one plus one collection for AM purposes and the new AY and me or I and me collection for PM use. So we're gonna have two different videos. One is an AM routine of the six plus one plus one collection and the second is the PM routine of the, the new collection. I wanna tell you before we get into this, I was not originally planning on doing a review of Axis Y because quite frankly, you know my skin type, I do have dry and acne prone skin, I can be a bit reactive, and some of these products do have essential oil ingredients. But last month I realized I've been growing a collection of Axis Y for about a year at this point, and so far, everything has gone well. Everything individually has gone well. So what I've done for this past month is rather than again completely switch my routine over to this brand, especially because some of these products are not at all new to me, I decided to just make sure that I was using a few Axis Y products every day so that I could come and give you some deeper thoughts into the brand. In the end, I'm really mind blown. I feel confused that <laughs> I'm about to tell you all this overall went fantastically when I reacted to a product that had, what, one essential oil ingredient in our November review. It's all so wild. I feel like skincare is just so confusing, isn't it? I isn't it confusing? This particular video has eight products, four of which are just mini sizes. I'm just gonna kind of briefly talk about those. But four products for this video, all of which I purchased with my own money, except for the Dark Spot Glow Correcting Serum, which I did receive via the Stylevana Advent Calendar. One, one final thing. I'm so sorry if I look tired in this video. I was just sick, now I look tired, ugh. I'm filming this on December 23rd, so I'm off today. I woke up this morning and I looked at my phone, it said 5 a.m., which is the usual time I wake up, and I just went, no, I'm not waking up. I am sleeping in today, even though I actually have a lot that I need to do before we go out of town. So I went back to bed and I woke up at 10.30, 10.30. 10.30, that's, that's when we used to wake up in high school. You remember that? We'd be so tired on Saturday. You'd finally roll out of bed at 10.30, 11 in the morning. Your parents were like, oh, well, it's nice to see you're still alive. But I gotta get this video done because I feel like my skin is pretty clear. I have no idea what the holidays may hold for us, you know? I hope my skin stays nice and clear, but you just, you never know. Let's get into it. Again, this is an AM skincare routine, so I'm going to start with, the, these are the four minis right here. I'm gonna start with the cl Sunday morning refreshing cleansing foam. Now, I finally figured out how to use Korean beauty cleansers. It took me way too long. The actual trick to this is to use about this much, about this much cleanser. After all these years, I finally figured out that's the trick. That's the trick, it's that in Western skincare products, we are told to use a lot more cleanser. You know, the standard uh, imagery you see on the Instagram guides, right, will show you, you know, a, a quarter sized amount of cleanser. No, I'm telling you, this teeny tiny amount of cleanser is the right amount that doesn't feel stripping. All that said, in all truth, do I think you absolutely need to run out and buy this? If we have the same skin type, Probably not. It's a cleansing foam. It's generally geared more towards oily to normal skin. And it's really hard for me to tell if this is a breakthrough product for the opposite skin type of mine, but it, it, it just seems fine to me. You know, I was gonna do the toner next, but I think it makes more sense to jump into the wash off masks. What I've decided to do is to use the two of these together. They're really, again, kind of four different skin types, but I can show you the difference on my face. I'll start with the New Skin Resolution Gel Mask, and I'll go ahead and put that where uh, I tend to be a little more dry. I kind of have a bit of a reverse T-zone. So I'll put this on my forehead. 
And you can see the plant ingredients in this. It contains some heart leaf, some centella asiatica, 2% niacinamide. I think that's a great level, especially for more dry skin types. So yeah, this would definitely be the mask that feels like it is made with dry skin in mind. It's a gel mask, so it's not going to be your drying type of clay mask. It's just going to be a bit more of a calming mask in general. By the way, if you can see it, I scraped my nose. It's best not to ask how. It's just better that way. And then I'll use the Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash Off Pack, kind of more right here where I actually do deal with some congestion on my nose and right here. And so with this one, you'll see that it is a clay mask. I was surprised I like this because I'm really picky with clay masks, but yeah, it's actually, it's not too drying. And with this one, you actually get a little bit of physical exfoliation when you go to remove the mask. Can you see? You can see all these exfoliating bits, right? Yeah, you can see that. So I think that while I let this dry for, according to the packaging, the appropriate amount of time, five, ten, ten minutes, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take this time to explain a little bit more about Axis Y and what they're doing. Uh, and you're just gonna to have to take me seriously. I know some of you are going with that mask application. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Complete with the bobbing headband. You'll have to take me seriously. My apologies. So Axis Y calls themselves a climate inspired brand. And I have to admit, when I first heard that, I was so excited. I thought that the brand was going to divide their products by, you know, here's some products for those of you in tropical regions. Here's some products for those of you in Iceland. But that's not really what they're doing with climate inspired. Instead, they're talking about how, uh, you know, we have an increase in pollution, we have an increase in environmental stressors, and so their products are designed to target that while also being a brand that is a Korean skincare brand that focuses a little more on being a clean brand. They do the whole excluding certain ingredients that, again, some people are looking for and some people just don't care. Personally, I'll try everything. Again, though, it's nice that the products are inexpensive. Um, and as for this six plus one plus one collection that we're reviewing today, what that means is they are using, and we'll use the new skin resolution gel mask as an example. It has six natural ingredients, one core ingredient, in this case, the 2% niacinamide, and one skincare technology. To be totally honest with you, I'm not 100% sure that means a lot. I think it's kind of more of the brand differentiating themselves from other brands out there, but I would dare say most products on the market are using a core ingredient, a uh, skincare technology. It might be nice that in some ways this does kind of simplify things. You know, some people want a lot going on in their products and some people do better with products that kind of target things a little bit more simply, just the 2% niacinamide and done. That works better for some. I think this all adds up to make overall a cute brand that's not too expensive, which I really appreciate. And I've got to say, again, you know, I'm surprised by how well my skin did with this brand. Natural brands can be real hit or miss for me. Uh, I'm guessing that when it comes to the essential oils, maybe they just keep them at much lower levels. It really could be as simple as that. Okay, I wanna wash this off now because you can, you can see that it is dried down enough. The gel mask is pretty easy to use. I'm gonna grab a sponge to remove the clay mask. This is a sponge I bought from, I think it's EcoTools. I think it was an EcoTools set. I wish I had figured this out a while ago because I had so much difficulty removing some masks. And then I, I just, I decided to grab this from Ulta. I think Ulta, or was it CVS? Oh, this is just so much better than struggling with mask removal, so much better. We are all rinsed off now and I got, of course, some physical exfoliation, not just from the little bits of plant in here, but also from the sponges that I used. I realized I told you a lot more about the new skin resolution mask. So really quickly, the Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash Off Pack, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I just said it's made with oily skin types in mind, but it's not too drying. So I might actually end up buying a full size of this. I would say this probably was my favorite from the sampler kit. The sampler kit's no longer available. You'll understand why a little later in this video. Let's go ahead and move on to the Artichoke Intensive Skin Barrier Ampoule. Now again, ampoules, kind of an odd category. They can be a little bit more toner-like, a little more serum-like. I would say this one is a little more serum-like, kind of a little bit on the heavier side. 
And the idea behind this is that it is made to soothe, calm, and hydrate the skin. I think it was probably, I think this was the product that might have put Axis Y on the map, right? I remember a lot of people talking about this when it first released. Now it's been reformulated. It's been updated to now no longer contain alcohol ingredients. I'd say that's a good call in a product that's made for barrier support. Also with this one, it has the avocado on the front here. I feel like that actually makes a lot of sense in terms of climate inspired skincare because that is a, a rich source of antioxidants. Antioxidants are wonderful ingredients if you live in an area of high pollution because antioxidants fight free radicals as found in pollution. I guess I'm saving my fail, so let's go ahead and move on to this product right here, which I think this is the most popular product that Axis Y has. It is their dark spot correcting glow serum with 5% niacinamide. 5% niacinamide, that's the perfect amount if you ask me. I know I go off about this a lot, but it's just that with ingredients like niacinamide, you know, you can find it at 10%, 20% in some products, but the reality is we've only studied the effectiveness of that ingredient at the two to 5% levels. Wait, let me correct myself. Actually, I believe I saw a study using 10% niacinamide on guinea pigs. So on the off chance you're watching this and you are a guinea pig, maybe 10% niacinamide is for you. Personally, I like the 5% level. I've been iffy as to whether some uh, skincare reactions I've had have been related to higher levels of niacinamide. But anyway, that's not all that's going on in this product that is their uh, active ingredient though. It also has some squalane and some sea buckthorn, a wonderful calming ingredient. Really nice ingredients list on this product. Honestly, this is probably going to work out for the vast majority of people. It's not too strong in what it's doing. You know, you have papaya extract in here for some gentle enzymatic exfoliation, but it's not gonna be the same as including papain into the product. Now I do wanna say in terms of this having the name dark spot correcting, uh, I don't know if this is going to be the most effective product on the market for dark spots. Personally, I think that niacinamide, at least in my experience, is a little better as an evening product, meaning if you, if you have recently had a breakout, it is left behind a scar and you have a spot, I think niacinamide will be a great ingredient to help you fade that. But if you have some really stubborn age spots, some scars that have been there for a while, I think you're gonna need something stronger than niacinamide. That's mostly me being anecdotal, but also I, I think I think that's pretty true. Let me know what, you're, what you think in the comments. Uh, let me go ahead and move on to the My Heart Leaf Moisturizing Cream. Honestly, I was a little disappointed by this and I will be able to immediately show you why. So watch how this comes out. Does that look like a cream to you? I mean, that is far more of a gel, in my opinion. I would not call this a cream. <laughs> I wish I had recorded myself using this for the first time. You know, just keep in mind I'm somebody with dry skin, so I already like thicker creams. Oh, uh, the disappointment. Oh, the disappointment with this one. I was just going, ugh, it's not enough. So with this one, I think this is going to be more for oily to normal skin types if you have typically avoided the word cream. This is gonna be your exception. It's a gel, it's a gel. At the very least, it is a gel cream, but it is, it's not enough for my dry skin. I will need another moisturizer. Now, I like to take a moment after applying my moisturizer and before I get to my sunscreen, which we will use the Axis Y sunscreen today. So let's get this out of the way. This is the product that I did not like at all. However, this review is kind of useless because it's been reformulated. And all I can say is, good. My goodness, this product needed to be reformulated. Like, whoa, just like, whoa. The Daily Purifying Treatment Toner, which I used once and then never again. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not using this again. You know how Korean toners, we've, we've talked about them a lot on this channel. They tend to be very hydrating. They're a completely different experience than the old school Western astringent toners. It's almost as if Axis Y said, but what if we made an astringent toner? What if we took our inspiration from Clinique's toners? This is so high in alcohol. The alcohol combines with the tea tree oil smell in this. It is 
it smells like cleaning products. I can't do it. I, I absolutely, I can't handle the smell. This has happened a handful of times and I feel like it's always with toners. I just cannot mentally process the sensation and experience of what it would be like to, to use Pine Sol as a toner. But like I said, there is good news. Axis Y reformulated this to have no alcohol going forward. So again, my review of it doesn't matter. It's just, uh, I'm really glad they did that because, oof, no. <laughs> and for our final step, let's use their complete no stress physical sunscreen. This is of course a mineral sunscreen, unsurprisingly from a clean Korean skincare brand. This also is a pretty popular product from them. I have to admit, even though I don't personally prefer mineral sunscreens, I don't hate this one either. I forgot to show you on camera. It's actually easy to get it out, get your two fingers length, and it's not bad. I have noticed something. I have noticed that in general, this seems to be preferred by people with oily to normal skin. In fact, I'm actually gonna go one step further and say, Overall, I think you might love the brand a lot more if you do have oily to normal skin. I just really get the feeling that their products are formulated a bit more with that skin type in mind. It sure looks like it's gonna be real white casty, doesn't it? But it's actually not bad once it's buffed into the skin. It does have a smell. In fact, I feel like this one has a little bit more of that essential oil smell than most of their products. My poor hairline, y'all, I feel like since I dyed my hair purple, it's just anybody on the streets can tell I'm a skincare enthusiast because we, we all lose the bright color right from our hairline. It's just, it's just blonde at this point. Everything else is purple, but I wash my face far more than my hair, so... My hair is outing me as a skincare enthusiast. So yeah, there it is buffed into my skin. You can see it's surprisingly not too bad. Still a little bit of a white cast because it is an SPF of 50 mineral sunscreen, but not too bad. And it didn't do that getting stuck in my eyebrows thing that some mineral sunscreens do. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mugwort, niacinamide at 2%, squalane, some calming ingredients, allantoin, grape, green tea. Yeah, it's really, it's not bad. Again, though, I think it's going to be more for normal to oily skin. And that's it, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I am actually really curious to know if any of you have tried this brand, especially if you have a little bit more sensitive skin. How has this brand gone for you? I, I mean, I didn't expect it to go as well for me as it did. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did find today's video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. That's not representative of the two buttons. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all next time.